hello welcome back to my channel my name is kemi and you are watching sincerely kso my feel reaction channel i'd like to thank you guys for being here with me again today thank you for your time thank you for your patience thank you for your support as well um, we're going to dive into a film reaction request and it's called first blood first blood and it's from 1982. Verity Ann is a patron and she's the one who requested this film. Verity Ann knows the rules. So I'm trusting since you didn't tell me this was a horror film, that this isn't a horror film. I don't see the cover usually when it's uploaded for me, the cover is by the side. I don't see any cover. Okay, if it is your first time, you are welcome. Um, <laughs> to watch the full unedited version of this reaction, please head over to Patreon over there. You, you, all, all, all tears. See, I'm nervous already because I don't know if I'm watching a horror movie. Um, <laughs> all tears on Patreon get a film reaction, um, a reaction of some sort. Okay. The first tier gets you animation alone. Second tier gets you animation and TV series. Third tier gets you animation, TV series, and movies. The top tier gets you a film reaction request in addition to many other benefits. So we've got polls that go up every once in a while, but scheduled monthly. And if I have time, more, more than once a month. We also have a community chat rooms and we've got four community sets there. We've got um, patrons alone, patrons and Kemi, that's me, <laughs> if you don't know my name. Um, we've got um, the intimacy group, and that's where we have questions with regards, you know, sex, what we're doing, what we're not doing. <laughs> and then we've also got, um, we've got mental health, mental health group uh, for people who might be strugg struggling, grieving, for just emotional support sometimes because um, a number of patrons do live alone and or are far from their families and you know when you enjoy movies with people there is a sense of brotherhood and sisterhood and a family you know we connect through the movies so those are the groups that are available there it's a very respectful place and I try to keep it decent and kind and I've been very blessed to have patrons who have the same ideals as I do and um, it's a wonderful group. So if you want to join, that would be great to have you on board and it is a great way to also support this channel. So thank you. A lot of time goes into doing what I do and um it's a great way to help me out. Thank you so much to those who have gone beyond this channel and over to Patreon. And to those who've been unable to or who don't want to, please know that you do, you still have my thanks for showing up, for subscribing. I see the numbers growing and I get your messages. So I'm very grateful. All right, so let's go into the movie right now. Where's my... But all the others, I didn't know. <laughs> I was looking at something else. Maybe his name popped up and I didn't see. Because what I saw was Bill Creaney. <clears throat> Where Delmar Barry lives? Oh, he's a friend of mine. You can see that's Delmar's writing. Uh, my name is John Rambo. We served on the same of us together. That's uh, Danforth and Westmore, Bronson, Ortega. And there's Delmar right in the back. We had to put him in the back because he's so big. If he didn't, he'd, he'd take up the whole picture. Look how big he is. Um, what time will he be back? He died. Died last summer. All that orange stuff that spread it around. Remember the movie he did where his son said he was so big, they had to put him at the back so he didn't cover up the picture. And then the woman is saying that he had cancer, that she could lift him off the bed 
just on a jacket walking. They didn't give him accommodation or anything. Morning, Amy. How you doing, girls? Great, thanks. All right this morning? Andy! Howdy, Will. This actor, too, I know his face, but I don't Morning, know Amy. where. Hi, Sheriff. The Sheriff. You, uh, you visiting somebody around here? Looking the way you do. You're asking for trouble around here, friend. Now jump in. I'll make sure you're heading the right direction, huh? Portland is south. You said you were headed north. There's a diner about 30 miles up the highway. 30 miles? Why not within the... So why are you pushing me? So why are you pushing me? I haven't done anything to you. First of all, you don't ask the questions around here. I do. Excuse me? First thing you know, we got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town. That's why. And I get paid to keep it that way. Boring. Portland, straight ahead. Hope this ride helped you out. He's going back. <laughs> I'm talking to you, goddamn. You hear me? Now put your hands on the car. Now you put your hands on the car and you spread them. Get your legs back. Get them back. Well, what do we have here, huh? What do you got? I want you to book this gentleman for vagrancy, resisting arrest. Hey, Mitch. Okay, here we go. Damn Come on, Leroy, sling that paint, boy. <laughs> Good, Mr. Ward. Name? Your name. Go, oh, wait a second. Hey, you got three seconds before I break your face. You got to talk to me. I promise you're going to talk to me, soldier. I'm going to run a make on him. Push it. It won't work that way. It'll only smear and I'll run across. Look, you son of a bitch. If you don't put your goddamn hand down there, I'm going to break it off. Now put it down, goddammit. Right, what the hell is going on down here? Leave the ink on the hand. Now listen, hard ass. As things stand right now, you're facing the ass end of a 90-day incarceration. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you're going up in front of that judge. And you think we're tough. Who gives a shit? All right, put your hands on top of your head and turn around. We should report this to Teasel, Galt. Look at that. You just do what I tell you. <laughs> Galt, what, what the fuck was that? Clean him up. What kind of bullying in the police force is hey, this? Even let him have his bath himself. Do they have to do it this way? Do they have bathrooms? All right, hurry it up. It's time for my Do they want to cut his hair? All right, sit down. Sounds like we just did the hard way. Come on. Uh, can't you see this guy's crazy? Can't you see? Ugh. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Take it easy. Take this, Mitch. Is it shave his beard or his hair? You son of a bitch! Come on! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my This sheriff was just hated him from the very beginning. Just from the very beginning. You know those kind of people who just want to have their way all the time. They're they're they they're power drunk. They're power drunk. They can never you nothing you do will please them. That's who the sheriff is. That's who he is because he can't point at a single thing that this guy did. If he was dirty, you try and help someone. 
especially you see someone putting on the American flag on his jacket. That shows you loyalty, that sort of thing. As a police officer, wouldn't you be happy to see someone who loves your country? You assist him. Do you need a bath? Do you need some money? Do you, you know, I don't know. That's the way I see things. When you see a soldier, isn't it something you respect? Okay, man. Obviously, the guy has been through something very traumatic. When they showed his memory, they showed um, some Asian people like cutting into his skin, torturing him. You know, so probably he was a soldier, maybe Vietnam or something happened and then he was captured, tortured. Maybe he's now coming. Oh, look at this one. Look at this fool. Look at him. 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 I know you can hear me! You're finished! He doesn't have a jacket, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't like knives. Not that he doesn't like because he has one himself, but he doesn't like maybe shiny ones. I don't know. Oh, He's up there beyond the draw. <coughs> Bitch, get Orville on the radio. We're up here. Please. If they give him any shit, tell him to cite him for obstruction right on the spot. Come on, dude. Thunder, let's get it. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll shoot anything. Hey, Mitch, up the hill. They keep moving, and my dog's gonna eat and run at the same time. <laughs> Straight to the top. Like the top. Oh, this guy's supposed to be dangerous. He's just dumb. Move. What's that? What's that? Oh, I thought something was coming out of the ground. <laughs> this is no good. Why? There were three of us on him in the cell block down there. <laughs> Is really fast they caught up with you so fast wow no you can't jump in that it's it's too rocky you can't it's not full water it's more rocks just give in give in give in go back at least you'll be warm in jail Ugh. go back you'll be warm in jail don't even do it don't do it This one wants to kill him. He wants to kill him. All. Are you going to jump? Ooh. Ooh. What happened? Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Busy chasing him for no reason. A little man thread. Oh my god! <laughs> Inside of his own wound. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> How do you fall out? How did he fall out matter. chasing someone? There's one man dead! 
It's not my fault! Oh. Cease fire! Cease fire! What? God damn it! Cease fire! Well, you have more than five first. I think we hit him. All right, let's get down there. Move! Go ahead, Will. Lester, we're down in the gorge. Says there's a storm headed your way. I don't give a goddamn what's on its way. I want that chopper back here right now. I don't want Galt's body out here all night. I'll do what I can. Listen, Will. You sure pick one a hell of a guy to mess around with. He's a war hero. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that freak? I knew there was something about that guy. I want you to do what I told you to do, goddammit. Get that chopper back here now. Out. Now, what the hell's the matter with you guys? He's one man. He's wounded. Come here, God damn it! Look, look at him! He's dead because of that psycho out there. Now you listen, boy, and you listen to me good. I'm gonna get that son of a... It's gonna storm. That's all we need now. Mark Luma! The fight is out there! He's out there waiting for you! Get your eyes open! So, give me your hats of coverage. There he is! Turn those dogs loose, Oval! He's got a gun. Oh. Kill him! Go get him! Go get him! Go get him, mate! He'll kill you, dog. Okay. Bitch, Ward, come here! We gotta get this guy to a doctor. Oh, damn it, get your belt around there fast. Where's the first aid? Oh, Orville, listen to me. Now listen. Oh, gotta stay awake, oh, alright? Get the on. son of a bitch. Go. Go get him. Ah. Exactly. You're redhead. You've been saying the sensible thing all through. You better find your way back. You better find your way back when they spread out. When they move forward even more, find your way and Go in the other direction immediately. Don't be deceived by all these crazy people. They all have their own agenda. The older people men get, I hear they become even more stubborn. It's true, they say so. <laughs> the older women too, they become more stubborn. The older men get, they become, look at our grandparents, they're always so stubborn. The voice of reason is beckoning to the red-headed one and they're not listening. He tried to give, you know, raise his hands and still they won't. Huh? Oh, the red-headed one. He just he stabbed you in the leg. You're lucky. You're lucky. Oh Who is it? He's not answering. That guy is mean. He's not answering him. John stabbed him in the leg. He's lucky. He's lucky he didn't kill it. Who's that? Everybody is calling Will. 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 <laughs> Everybody coming with me. <laughs> <No. laughs> it is funny and scary. <laughs> my armpits. Oh my god. See what he did to you. So that's it. Oh, you have left me a man. said, let it go. Let it go. I could have killed all of them, but I didn't. If you come after me, you see, he warned you. He warned you. If you're smart, you will stay away. Mm -hmm. See how all your men were calling you like they were calling their mother in the playground, running, uh, running away from a bully. None of them could handle him. None. This is your own backyard. This jungle is yours. This ravine, everything 
It's your own place. And still your men were not protected. You could not cover them. They couldn't do anything. The word is enough for the wise. Thank goodness his humanity is still intact. People who come back from these experiences post traumatic stress disorder who knows mental health issues might have been involved he didn't kill anybody he just paralyzed them taking their legs pitting them not paralyze them but you know inflicting enough leg injury to keep them still don't give me any of your horse shit about jurisdiction in this one you understand shrouded in mist the fugitive john rambo is hiding with which he allegedly killed one deputy sheriff and tried to kill six others. Only their skill training and police enforcement shit. techniques saved their lives. Uh -huh. And word now is that the fugitive will be in custody in a matter of hours. Uh -huh. Where is the chopper guy? He should come and tell them what happened, that they were, they were hard on the guy. One goddamn bit of difference, Dave, and you know it. People start fucking around with the law and all hell breaks loose. I made him. Who the you? hell are you? Sam Trotman. Colonel Samuel Trotman. Look, we're a little busy this morning, Colonel. What can I do for you? I've come to get my boy. I'd say that makes him mine. I wonder why the Pentagon would... I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. Colonel, you came out here to find out why one of your machines blew a gas... To live off the land. To eat things and to make a billy goat puke. They're calling him Rambo. They're not calling him John. Okay, Colonel, now you got us all scared to death. What, what do you and the scared special forces death. think I ought to do about your... I don't figure the best way to do that is to close my eyes and then hope he gets picked up in Seattle. Well, if he's special forces, we teach our people to stay alive in the line of duty. No shit, I never thought of that. You want a war you can't win? Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? But if you're serious about taking Rambo out clean, follow me. State police calling John Rambo. Come in, please. Acknowledge. He took a radio off of one of my deputies. And he has to be listening. Maybe you can talk him into sparing all our lives by giving himself up. Come on, Bobby, put the magazine away, will you? Pay attention. I may only get one crack at this. Covey leader to identify Baker T. Rambo. Barry. Crack Barry, Howard. Delmar Barry. Confirm. See, the Delmar that was in the beginning, he's calling on the team cover leader to his team right so this was their leader yeah they're all gone sir it's him get on it got himself killed in now didn't even know it can't say him down to the bone look john you've done some damage here but they don't want any more trouble you've got me down in dc i'm shining a seat with my ass i wish i was back at bragg now well look john we can't have you running around out there wasting friendly civilians Seems like bailing you out of trouble is getting to be a lifetime job for me. There wouldn't be no trouble except for that king shit cup. They drew first blood, not me. Look, Johnny. They drew first Let blood. Let me come in and get you the hell out of the... Cubby leader to Raven. Come first line, I'm going to put every man I got up on that ridge. Now we'll get him my way. Uh, they are they, they are always shooting. They are oh oh see. Yeah! He said no shooting. Everybody is always trigger happy. Come on! Oh, you guys are great. You shoot yourself. All right, Steve. Yo, I want you and Bruce head around these trees. Go to the front of that mine. Screw that, Clinton. I ain't going up there. No way. <laughs> I said screw that. <laughs> yeah, screw that. He said I did this part time. Rambo! I didn't even get paid to do it. Besides, I'm in charge and I say we blow it up. Now fire that oh thing. God. Oh, oh my god. Idiots. Steady? Got it. 
Nick. One more for Soldier of Fortune. Didn't you get the word, Clinton? I told you people to wait until I got up here. Well, he was shooting at us, Will. Come on, I wasn't taking any chance. Will, come on, I gotta be back at the drugstore tomorrow. And you better get started right away, Clinton. So they want them to pull apart that rubble piece by piece to get the body, the presumed body that is there. Man, this your knife has is a star on its own. <laughs> I'm telling you. Survivor of countless incursions behind enemy lines. Mm. He killed a police officer for Christ's he didn't. sake. That's a lie. Kill all of you. That's a lie. Stop lying. He's carrying that story around to justify what he's doing to get the to get them on his side. But that isn't what happened. And I can't wait for the helicopter person, pilot, to come out and tell them what really happened. And we didn't let him go loose. The best man lost. Mm -hmm. Ask Will Tease. Will Teasel. That's his name. We Will Weasel. You should put everything W there. The guy asked you how you how are you doing? He said hold my calls. <laughs> Cause you've had a stressful day, eh? A very stressful day. So this here fire thing is Oh rats. I saw a rat. Oh! Long tail. I no 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 no. Ah oh, no no no. No no please no please no please no please no please. Don't put out your light. 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 Oh God. Hmm. I just want to apologize. Oh, he wants to apologize, indeed. Really. Cheated out of your chance. Chance to do what? I wanted to kill that kid. He wants to kill him. What the hell? You're a civilian. I mean, you can go home to your. Would you wrap your arms around him, give him a big sloppy kiss? Or would you have blown his brains out? I guess it's just as well we never got a chance to find out. Never got a chance to find out, but you saw the face that he made, right? He made a face that was like, well, you never know, you might still get that chance. Because when Rambo, like I said, was in that place... He looked round, just careful, just be careful before you go in, go out and they shoot you your head. Just be careful. If I are you, I'll throw a rock. Careful, careful. So in his mind, he might have felt that. And the weather is still cold, or with this his... Drive. No. Go on, no, no, go on! You're lucky that he didn't stab you in the thigh. Car one, Charlie five to Central. Wanna turn that up? Are we still on that three-way hookup? Yeah, awesome. mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Rambo, this is your knife. Your knife needs a name. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because it's a very... He lifted the trumpet uh -huh. over the cars. Why did he do that? Why did 
Safety. Please evacuate the streets immediately. Evacuate the streets immediately. Remain indoors until you receive further instructions. I repeat, this is a police emergency. Please evacuate the streets immediately. So that because they might be shooting. As a matter of fact, it stole an army truck, blew up a gas station the other side of town. Teasel, you and all your men couldn't handle him before. Now, what makes you think you can handle him now? He's ready to burn this whole town. <laughs> no, he would. I don't think he would. But he's going to teach him a big lesson. Because. You oh, oh. Everybody dies. Now, this is my job traveling this. Will S. Lester, do you copy over? Feet, no body. It's totally burned out. Uh -huh. They couldn't find a body. So he's not there. He's coming your way. He's coming your way. He's coming your way. Isn't that the assurance when he put that knife to his neck? Said. He's putting the lights. That your focus will be on in that direction, so he's going to look. See, see, Rambo. <laughs> Rambo is doing too much, he's doing too much. But he's he's upset. He's upset. He was like, I told you to leave me alone. I told you I didn't want any stress. I told you that. And yet. Oh. Mm -hmm. I had you crazy son of a bitch. Hold your fire! The building's perimeter is covered. No exits. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission is over! It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! And I come back to the world, and I see all those maggots at the airport protesting me, spitting, okay. calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap. Who are they to protest me, huh? Who are they? Unless they've been me and been there and know what the hell they're yelling about. It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. Thank you. Just back there, I had all these fighting guys. Who were my friends? Cruise to the tires fall off. Mm -hmm. Fucking blew his body all over the place. And he blew up. He's laying there, he's oh. fucking screaming his pieces of them all over me. Just like, like this, and I'm trying to pull him off, you know, and it's, it's my friend that's all over me. He's got blood and everything, and I'm trying to hold him together. No one help me say, please, oh. I want to go home, I want to go home. We can oh. come out there. I want to go home, Johnny. I want to drive my Chevy. I said, well, what? I can't find your fucking legs. Seven years. Oh. Every day happens. Sometimes I wake up and I want that's, That's terrible. It's like Forrest Gump having trauma, bad nightmares about Bubba and everything. Yeah. 
It's a lot. So this was a really nice action movie and it was quite emotional. It was quite emotional. There were several instances that um, I found really exciting. I love the fight scenes. I love how he, my favorite part was when he kept jumping out and capturing Will in the beginning when they were all in the forest, where he got the five and he, they were all screaming, Will, Will, Will. And it was like a mother trying to run from Elta Skelter to save her kids, but couldn't do, do much, right? It was so funny how, to see how dependent they were on will to come rescue them because on their own they didn't even have the power to do so anyway so um this end part gives us insight to the struggles he faced when he was at vietnam when he was in war and the trauma that he he had kept bottled in like we saw that they were a team that moment on the on the when the first time the colonel was calling him when the colonel was saying, Raven this, Raven that, covert leader to Baker, you know, Baker team. I think that's what he said, right? To the Baker team. And he was calling him Raven. That moment he was saying that I'm, he said, I'm the only one left. And that he went to see the last, who he thought, um, Rambo went to see Delma, who he thought was the last person still on that Raven team, and Delma had died from cancer. The others had died during the, maybe during the war, or, you know, and he just feels alone because it's like a brotherhood. You know, when people join the army, they go to war together, they survive so many things together, only for them to start dying off one by one. And I think that person he was talking about, he was then like, ah, you know, they called him like a baby killer or something like that. And he didn't, you, you, you know, it seems like someone was offering to shine their shoes, but had in the shoe box and explosives. And he just keeps remembering these things, looking for a place to stay, looking for a place where he could call home. Relax. I just, I, I, it's one of the reasons when I think of veterans here in Canada and wherever we have our poppy veterans day, I know. <laughs> I support them. I support them. The, the, the two charities that, that I support, and it's not like a charity, it's I, I, like they've earned their service and they've, they've earned the right to be supported. But I do Canadians against bullying and the veterans. I don't play with those things when I see them when, because the freedom that we're enjoying, that we are, people pay the price for it. And I just wish that the government and people would rally around. When I hear that basketballers are getting billions of dollars, millions of this, and you can't eradicate you can't provide for your veterans. You can't give them therapy, even just just a space to have the proper medication, the proper medical attention. They come back and they can't pay their... Ah, no, 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 no. I hate hearing things like that. It hurts my heart when I see that they can't pay their bills. Like the way he is doing... Oh, no, no, no. I don't even want to... Let's not talk about it. Um, it's people should. I really, I really enjoy it. I don't know. I'm taking. I'm making it personal. I know it's fiction, but there is a reality to it, and the reality is that people need to support the veterans. People need to find a way to help them heal. It can't be easy killing someone, fighting consistently, the harsh conditions, the training. You're morphed into something else. Your your brain is affected, your mind. So they need our help and they need our support and our respect. I'm not talking about the crazy ones though, that misuse their powers and they go out. Those ones should be locked up. You know, because some people get into this police force and they just... They just want a cover for their devious deeds. They just want something to protect them so they can go on rampage. This guy was on his own. He was walking. Will started with the insults. 
started with the insoles for nothing. So yeah, that's my take. Thank you so much for sending this to me, Verity, and I loved it. Thank you. And remember that I did a reaction to him, Sylvester Stan, the arm wrestling movie was over the top. It came to me by the end, but I remember that story. It was quite affectionate. It was his son. Well, go watch my reaction, you know. All right, don't forget to subscribe. On to the next. Bye. Thank you.